for joining me today. I am going to try to do the five questions in a one take tag. I was tagged by Elizabeth from Elizabeth Made This and I'm going to try to get right into it and stay concise because I'm a talker and if I don't this will take an hour. <laughs> so number one, if you were given a paid sabbatical to spend a year living anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I would have to say that I would not like to spend one year in any one place, but I think it would be great fun to tour the entire country. And I live in the United States, so that's a lot of area. Um, we homeschool, so we could take the kids and just have a phenomenal school year, uh, traveling the entire country from Maine to Florida to California. We could fit in geography and history because I love museums and, uh, you know, social studies and just, it would be great. Um, so that would definitely be an awesome family road trip. Uh, number two, who was your favorite teacher growing up and how did they influence you? I didn't like school until I got into high school. And pretty much all of my high school teachers were phenomenal. Um, I had one teacher in particular, she was my science teacher. She was right out of college. She made um, science so interesting and so fun. I would say that she influenced me by turning me into a science nerd. So, <laughs> um, I love researching, I love science. Uh, she would let me come in during my study halls and I would set up all her lab equipment and stuff and um, I would just like feed the amoebas and do, um, do microscope work that she needed to have done ahead of time, you know, for her labs and for her classes. So that was great fun. <laughs> Uh, number three, name three things besides sewing that you're good at. I don't know how good I am at anything including sewing, um, but uh, my other one true love uh, besides my family is gardening. Um, I have a phenomenal kitchen garden out my back door. It is rather large and I make dinner every night and I love during the harvest season to be able to go out there and go grocery shopping right outside my back door. I actually plan my meals around what is available in the garden so that's always a great fun for me. Um, I do want to expand my garden to, um, to include cut flowers. I think that would be so nice to be able to go out and harvest all these nice flowers bring them in and have vases of flowers all over my house um, during the, the spring, summer, and fall months, I guess. I'd still have to go to the grocery store and buy them in the winter, but whatever. <laughs> um, I don't really have any other. I'm supposed to come up with three. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm, I'm boring. I only have two hobbies, sewing and gardening, so there you go. Uh, number four, do you cook? What meal recipe are you known for? Uh, I do cook. I used to cook more when my children were little. I, um, I was at the stove three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I pretty much made all of our meals from scratch, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I did a lot of baking. I baked quick breads and yeast breads. We made pitas and just everything. Um, I don't do that so much anymore. My children are all older and they just rather have a bowl of cereal for breakfast and make themselves a sandwich for lunch. So mealtime around here is quite boring now. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> um, I'm not known for any sort of recipes. So if you don't cook, what meal recipe do you most like to have made for you? Now, talk about a good cook. My husband is a phenomenal cook. He doesn't do it very very often, but when he does do it, it is just perfect. Um, and anything, he can cook anything. Um, when we go out to eat, I'm kind of a dessert person. Uh, anything chocolate, so chocolate mousse, uh, chocolate cake, anything with fudge or brownies, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all about chocolate. 
<laughs> number five. Number five is one sewing question. What is your favorite pattern ever and why? I wouldn't really say this is my favorite pattern, but it's definitely my most used pattern. It's Butterick B5917. And I have never actually made the entire dress of this. I've only ever made the skirt portion of it, but I've made it about 10 times, I guess. Um, I've made it longer, I've made it shorter, I've put a little ruffle on the back, I've used all sorts of fabrics for it. So there you go. Hey, I think I did it. <laughs> I stayed focused. And uh, I think this is a reasonably short video, so let's hope anyway. I hope you enjoyed it. I have really enjoyed watching all of the tag videos that everybody else is doing. Um, this is so much fun. So I can't remember the girl who started it. I'll link her below along with Elizabeth from Elizabeth Made This. I hope you enjoyed it, and happy stitching. Bye-bye.